Hey, Shalom. Most high in Christ bless you. you. Got Captain Ben Zion here, and I got here with me Officer Obadiah. We got Officer Obadiah here. We in Nashville, Tennessee, here to bring you 15 minutes with the captains. Today, we're going to go over the topic: Can we judge? Can we, as a people, judge? Because we like to hear this a lot. That when we are teaching, uh, we're talking to people. The first thing people like to say: Are you judging? You can't judge me. All right. So we're gonna go into the Bible and see. Can we judge? First, I want to open up with Deuteronomy chapter 16, all right, and verse 18. Deuteronomy chapter 16 and, chap and, and verse 18, all right? We're going to read 18 and 19, all right? Let's see. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 16 and verse 18. Read. Judges and officers. Oh, say what? Judges and officers. It say judges and officers, read. Shalt thou make thee in all thy gates. So that's a commandment for us to have judges, for somebody to tell you and judge you uh, for what you're doing wrong. All right? People like to say that. Uh, also, people like be like, y'all can't judge, but they never go tell the so-called white man that when they get a speeding ticket. They never go tell the white man that when their baby daddy back on behind on child support. You can't judge him because he, he don't have a job. That's you can't right. judge him. You just can't lock him up because he ain't been paying his child support. Y'all don't say that to them, but when we out telling you the laws of God, people like to say, y'all judging us. Okay? So keep reading on that. Which the Lord thy God giveth thee All right. throughout thy tribes, uh -huh. and they shall judge the people. And they shall do what? Judge the people. All right, so they shall judge the people, read. With just judgment. With what? Just judgment. With just judgment. What is just? Give me Romans 7 and 12 right quick. Let's see. So we got to judge them with just judgment. Just, not according to us. Let's see what it means to have just judgment. All right. The book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 12. Read. Wherefore, the law is holy. The what? The law is holy. So right here we're talking about the laws of God, which is holy, separate, different. Read. And the commandment holy. So we're talking about the commandments. Read. And just. And what? And just. So for order for something to be just, it must be according to the laws and the commandments of God. Read. And good. All right. It's just and good. Now go back. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 16 and verse 19. Read. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Okay. Neither. Go back up. Verse 18. Judges and officers. Shalt thou make thee in all thy gates, uh -huh. which the Lord thy God giveth thee mm -hmm. throughout thy tribes, and they shall judge the people with just judgment. So we got to judge them with just judgment, meaning that we must judge them according to the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. All right, go keep reading. Verse 19, thou shalt not rest judgment. So thou shalt not wrestle in judgment. Read. Thou shalt not respect persons. All right, we cannot respect persons when we go out and teach or when we talk. And we just can't be like, okay, he got a lot of money. He pulled up on 32. They ain't going to tell him he wrong for smoke, jumping out, smoking a blunt. All right? Because she got some money. She may be Beyonce. I ain't going to tell her wrong. Tell her she wrong because she got on some tight apple bottom jeans on. We can't respect persons in judgment. Read. Neither take a gift. All right, and neither can they give me one of the necklaces, bro. Don't don't talk, don't don't judge me. Here go a neck, a diamond necklace, and I put it on. And be like, hey, he's straight, y'all. Don't don't say nothing to him. Read. For a gift doeth blind the eyes of the wise. All right, because we are the wise when we go out there teaching, and if somebody uh, try to give us gifts, okay, it can blind us, meaning that we we won't we won't uh, we won't call them out for their sins. Read. And pervert the words of the righteous. And it can pervert our words because we'll start uh, teaching what we believe and not what the Bible actually says like they do in Christianity. All right, is that it? Yes, sir. All right, give me uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 16. I know this is the Old Testament, but guess what? We're going to get to the New Testament too. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 16. Read. And I charged your judges. And he charged what? Your judges. Man, it's judges. All We always had judges, okay? We always had judges, all right? It's, it's even a, a book in the Bible, am I wrong, called Judges, right? Yeah. So why are y'all getting that we cannot judge? We just cannot, what we read, uh, we done a class on earlier in Romans that we can't condemn, all right? Read. And I charged your judges at that time, uh -huh. saying, hear the causes between your brethren uh -huh. and judge righteously. All right, and we got to make sure that we judge righteously. What is righteous? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 25. Okay. And it shall be our righteousness. And it shall be our righteousness. 
if we observe to do all these commandments. All right, the commandments. I read before the Lord our God, as He have commanded us. All right, so righteousness means to do the commandments. So we must judge righteously, meaning according to the laws, according to the commandments. Okay, so that's what it means to judge righteously. Give me First Corinthians chapter six and verse uh, two, right quick. Let's go to the New Testament. For somebody being getting a wise thought, well, they just in the Old Testament. Jesus died. Now they can't judge. Let's see what Paul told the church of Corinth. The book of First Corinthians, chapter six and verse two. Read. Do ye not know? I said this is a question. Don't you know? That the saints shall judge the world. That who? The saints shall judge the world. See, that's very important. The saints. Who are the saints? All right? Give me the book of Psalms. See who the saints are. Because we, we we always, we hear this. A lot of people hear this. Now, it's a certain group of people that can judge, okay? All right, read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 148 and verse 14. He also exalted the horn of his people. So he exalted the horn of his people. His people. Read. The praise of all his saints. All right. The praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel. All right. When it says even, it's meaning indeed right there. So indeed, even. Read. A people near unto him. All right. We are the people that is near unto him. And what? Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Be glad. Okay. Be glad. That's what we praise the Lord for. All right. Now go back. The book of 1 Corinthians. Chapter 6 and verse 2. Read what you got. Do ye not know? Don't you know? That the saints shall judge the world. That the children of Israel should do what? Judge the world. Read. And if the world shall be judged by you. All right. And if the world be judged by you. Are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? All right. Well, we're judging the smallest matter. The smallest matters. Okay. So when we go out telling people to uh, stop smoking, to the women to put on a, a dress. For the men to pull his pants up, take care of his kids and things like that. All right. Those are small matters. All right. Y'all rather for us to tell you than the Lord to tell you. All right. I'm talking about face to face. When he tell you, it's going to be over. Grace period over. All right. So let's go from there. Go to Sirach chapter 45 and verse 26. Sirach chapter 45 and verse 26. Let's get it. All right. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 45, and verse 26. Read what you got. God, give you wisdom in your heart to judge his people. <laughs> Read that again. God, give you wisdom in your heart to judge his people. So God has given us wisdom in our minds. The heart is the mind to judge who? His people. Who is his people? Go to Psalms, I think it's 135 and 12. Let's just get when it says his people, because we heard that a while ago in the other verse. Let's see what, who is his people. All right. Give me Psalms 135. I think it's 12. Yeah. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 135 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And gave their land for an inheritance. All right. He gave the, their land for a heritage. And heritage unto Israel. Unto who? Israel. Unto who? Israel. All right. The nation of Israel, who he gave his inheritance of land to. His people. So Israel is his people. Now, go back. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 45 and verse 26. Uh -huh. God give you wisdom in your heart to judge his people. So he gave us the wisdom to judge the children of Israel. So when we go out to the streets, that's what we're doing. All right. We're going to the lost tribes all right, of Israel. Read. In righteousness. And in, in what? In righteousness. In the laws of God. What we read earlier. All right, read. That their good things be not abolished and that their glory may endure forever. Right. So when we trying to tell people, you know what I'm saying, to keep the laws of God, man, that's our glory. And we want this to endure forever. How a woman is supposed to dress. What we're supposed to eat. What we're not supposed to eat. All right, how the man is supposed to dress. How he's supposed to conduct himself. We want the glory of God to remain on earth forever. All right, so let's go from there. Go to Deuteronomy 4 and 6. All right, so when it said he gave us the wisdom, what is the wisdom he gave us? Deuteronomy 4 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6. Read. Keep therefore and do them. Do them is talking about what? For this is your wisdom All right. and your understanding in the sight of the nations, all right. which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. All right. So when it says do them, it's talking about the law. All right. 
It's talking about doing the laws and the other nations supposed to look at us and be like, hey, that's a wise and understanding people. But it's the total opposite in 2019, uh, in, in 2020. All right. It's the total opposite. All right. So let's go to Proverbs 3 and 5. So the problem is our people like to, they lean on their own understanding on what it means to judge. People go like going to Tupac, uh, uh, Machiavelli, Book of Machiavelli, uh, song, uh, song what? Well, Give me one. He said, he said, only God can judge me. Only God can judge me. Yes. Song 12. <laughs> Y'all going to the Book of Tupac and or, or going to A-Rap store and get a shirt with Tupac with his hands on there, praying with his hands, right? Mm -hmm. All right? Um, and it says only God can judge me and people have a, a, adapted that saying adopted that saying excuse me and and they believe that that's in the Bible that's not in the Bible read what you got the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 uh -huh. trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding so that's what that means y'all need to trust in the Lord with all your heart don't lean on your own understanding God gave us wisdom to judge his people that's what people do not understand all right give me matthew chapter uh, 7 and verse 1 right quick because people like to use this all right this is what christians are like to try to say and not understanding the meaning of it read the the book of matthew chapter 7 and verse 1 uh -huh. judge not that ye be not judged see brother you can't judge me the scripture said judge not keep reading for with what judgment ye judge ye shall be judged okay and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Uh -huh. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, uh -huh. but consider it not the beam that is in thine own eye? All right, read it from the top again. Get the, the real understanding. Read. Verse, uh, verse 1. Judge not that ye be not judged. So don't judge because you're going to be judged. Read. For with what judgment ye judge. I said for what judgment Ye judge, meaning if I judge somebody and I'm doing the same thing, read. Ye shall be judged. I'm going to be judged the same way. I sit up there and judge somebody. For example, if I tell this brother, bro, you wrong for smoking weed and selling crack. And then I leave him from his present and I'm at home smoking weed and selling crack. I got a whole crack house, but I sit up there and judge him and told him that he was wrong for it. Or I just told uh, 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 a sister, hey. You need to take off those tight pants. Then I go home. I ain't told my wife to take off those tight pants. See, that's what it means. Read it again. Judge not that you be not judged. They said don't don't judge because you're going to be judged. Read. For with what judgment ye judge. Because of what judgment I sit up there and judge him with. Read. Ye shall be judged. I'm going to be judged. Read. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Uh-huh. And why beholdest thou the moat that is in thy brother's eye? Right, so why are you beholding the, the problems that's in that you can see in your brother, read? But consider it's not the beam that is in thine own eye. And you're not considering the problems that you have. All right, read. Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye. All right, let me help you, read. And behold, a beam is in thine own and eye. And I ain't trying to help my own self. All right. So that's what those scriptures right there mean in Matthew. All right. So don't never let no Christian or nobody that's afraid to be told anything. Guess what? Hit you with Matthew chapter 7 and verse 1 on down. Talking about judge not lest ye be judged. All right. So uh, y'all with that, I hope you enjoyed that 15 minutes of uh, can we judge? And the answer is yes. All right. So with that, we're going to say shalom. So. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.